Welcome back to Hard Officers Halls, everybody. I'm Kyle. I'm Zach. And here I am on the Shinkansen, heading to Nagoya, and from there to Tsushima. Mm. Tsushima is where I live. I'm so. visiting my good pal, Zachary. Hello. Oh, here we are. This is Booktown. It's kind of a, a games, books, DVDs, music, all-around media store. Uh, think Book Off, only cooler, I thought. And they can fix your stuff. Look at these sad devices. That's a sad DS if I've ever seen one. He's got something going on yeah, on his lower screen. <laughs> Here we are inside. This is one of the display cases. That's Symphony of the Night for PlayStation, I think it was. For 40 bucks. Which is kind of pricey, actually. <laughs> and then another copy for about 20 bucks. And we don't know why. So this shop was really cool. I was impressed. Apparently this is Zach's regular stomping ground. So he was just like, whatever. But I was like, look at this. This is amazing. Yeah, I was I was blown away the first time I came, but I am in here about once every week or two. So I was just like, oh, yep, that's all the same games that were here last time I was here. But Kyle is losing his mind. Blaze Blue. Blaze Blue. It's a good fighting game. I'm not a big fighting game guy, but I remember playing it briefly and thinking it was, you know, pretty nifty, I guess. Oh, it's a second density, so it's Children of Mana for DS. Sweet. Oh, Metal Maxi, I've. What was this again? I think we were trying to figure it out. It it looks like a uh, like a tactical. Yeah kind of fallouty but japanese game. rpg thing <laughs> looked kind of neat it did but that was kind of pricey so we held off so this is cool this place actually sells basically what is junk software so that basically says like stuff that's got issues with it broken things missing things damaged things um but they're really really cheap because of it i've gotten some good deals out of that area out of that section before so Oh, it's which one? What's this one called in English? I can't ever remember. I Phantom Hourglass. I haven't played any of the DS Zelda games, but this is surely one of them. It is definitely. I think it's Phantom Hourglass. And you really debated on buying this, but you. It's 280 yen. But would you really play it? Yeah, that was the question. <laughs> yeah. I would probably play it a little bit. I don't know if I would actually. I rarely stick to Zelda games, honestly. That's me. A, me too. That's a confession. This is another game we were like, this package is big and cool looking. What is this? This and is a we, DS game. We never figured it out. <laughs> What's in there? Yeah. What could it be? I guess you'll know what the whatever's put on the screen, I'm going to guess. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, this is a kanji writing practice game. There's a lot of these for DS in Japan. Um, kind of I was kind of tempted to pick it up just to like, covering things like this could be interesting. Especially if they come with a peripheral. Because yeah. there's all kinds of like learning games, but if it comes with a peripheral, that's cool. Right? Right, Zach? No. Oh. <laughs> so I put it back. <laughs> yep. This, we did pick up. It's a face training game. Yeah, it makes you prettier. Yeah, it's, you can uh, increase your expressiveness through facing it said on the front. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. We're we, definitely going to make a video about this. Yeah, let's see us make some faces that are told by the DS game. Uh, this jet, this store apparently it's actually a chain in Aichi, I'm pretty sure, but they have their own YouTuber, so that's cool. He seems pretty cool. Tamina-mikun. Yeah, and he uh, they playing his videos in the store on TV. So I think we got some footage of that later, but he looks pretty cool. Vita, really want a Vita? Don't, yep. Don't need another system right now. Though. You had one at one point, you dumb idiot. Yeah, I know, and I sold it because I'm dumb. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sweet. Horse betting simulator. Beautiful. It's Very exactly good. what I want a Vita for. Oh! What did you find, Zach? Ah, oh, Space Invaders Extreme. Sweet. For PSP. Yeah. And it's really cheap compared to the DS one. Yeah. Why is this so much cheaper? It's crazy expensive on the DS. It's like wow, six times that price. Yeah, the thing is that like I don't really ever play PSP. I have one, but nice. This game's really good, though. Oh uh, yeah, this is 
Mega Man Zero? Yeah. The uh, the DS exclusive Mega Man games I thought were actually really, really good and fun. Um, but what are they like? It's just a Mega Man game, pretty much. It's like yeah. an action kind of... I want to say it was almost like a Metroidvania kind of thing. I could be totally wrong, but... Um, it was a Mega Man game. I don't know why they're so forgotten by the world, but they're fun. They call it Rockman in Japan. Those games hold their value really well here. Quit smoking with the DS. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted to do. I, I, I already quit smoking using a book. But I, hey, if a book can work, why not a DS game? I've smoked like three times ever in my life and it made <gasps> my lungs hurt. You did? It was bad. Zach, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> These are their soundtracks. They had a really, really, really good soundtrack selection. It's, it's. I feel like if this store was in like Tokyo, it would just be cleaned out. Yeah. Yeah, it's the some shoot 'em up. I don't, I don't recognize this game actually, but it looks cool. I could listen to it. <laughs> Is it called Doggy something? I hope so. Oh, yeah, Kunio-kun, this is uh, River City Ransom and Super Dodgeball for uh, Nintendo. These are all characters from those games. I use the line stamps from this series, and they're really, really cool. Line is the messaging app used most prominently in Japan. Oh, yeah, people don't know that. So it's like stamps on Facebook, basically. Ooh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon for 3DS. Zach me this is some zach stuff it's just me it's just a little me playing some ds games it's not a big deal <laughs> and uh it looks cool pokemon Mystery dungeon is stuck to the same formula for forever so i mean like you play one you play them all kids yeah but i mean it's consistent they're all good so you know oh. switch games oh, stardew valley i really want to play this you were almost tempted to get this, weren't you? No. No? All right, I'm not well, sure if I... There's so many games. I'm sure I would play it and have a good time, but especially on the Switch, I'm pretty selective. Uh, there's some games I want to play more than that one right now. Well, sorry, Stardew Value. You got yep. shut down. <laughs> Mario Kart Wii, this game, you really don't need that steering wheel. Like, it seems really cool. You're like, oh, hold the steering wheel and play it, but it actually is... It's pretty goofy. Yeah. <laughs> Is that just the steering wheel? I think it's got the game in there, too. If it comes with the game, that's a pretty good deal. Yeah, but it was too much luggage, so you didn't do it. Ooh! Shantai! 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 Uh, these games are great action games by WayForward. They do a good job. That I would be more tempted by than Star... Star what? Starcraft Valley. Star... Starcraft... V v mm. <laughs> This is another mystery dungeon. It's Zach. Chocobo in the uh, Labyrinth of Forgotten Time or whatever it's called if you return in English. Never got, or the Wii one did get a US release, actually, but. Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon. Good game. Very fun. Oh, here's his YouTube channel. It's that guy that we were talking about a second ago. And he's ago. playing Twin B. Nice. Looks cool. That's one thing I really like about this store a lot is they have like four different TVs all in the game section playing like um, this and other. Uh, let's play kind of stuff. Look at that Just purple. Uh, we didn't show his YouTube name. Yeah, but look him up. Okay. <laughs> look up Booktown YouTuber. You'll find him. I'm it's sure. Tam Tami Nami Kun, I think he's Tami on Twitter too. So there you go. PlayStation Four. PlayStation Four. Oh, what do we got? Uh, more oh, mystery dungeon. This more is like, Zach time. This is like the second or third re-release of. Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon for uh, DS or Wii, whichever was first. They just keep releasing it over and over, which is fine. It's a great game. Ah, oh, Raiden 5. Nice. Very cool. Another shoot 'em up? Another shoot 'em up. I played Raiden 3 on PS2 until my fingers fell off. <laughs> Zach really... doesn't have any fingers. It's really difficult for him to game. I do it anyway, though, because I'm that determined. Hmm. Rockman 11. I've heard good things. Oh, you knocked that Knocking game stuff down. over. I get so excited. <laughs> Kyle just loves his Rockman. Just like tip a whole shelf over. <laughs> and I pick it up and you continue to stare at the game you're holding in your hands wide-eyed. I still have so many Mega Man games I'm working through, though. I got all the Game Boy ones except for four. And I have Rockman X on the Super Famicom. I'm really proud of you, Kyle. Look how cheap Red Dead 2 is. Very cool. That game just like fell off 
a cliff very quickly. <laughs> yeah. They had this uh, Space Invaders machine here for on free play. You can just play Space Invaders if you want to. Mm -hmm. These cabinets are made really, really shoddily, though. So this is really cool. They got all kinds of systems just playing. All them handmade, like, display dealies. Look at that Mario. Look at that squished Goomba. Look at that Mario and that squished Goomba. Look at him. Just take a peek. Very cool. It's the Model 2 NES. And I saw people swapping out carts. Yeah. So you could just play whatever game you want. It's true. Oh, there's some uh, Puzzle Bobble. Or Bust a Move, whichever you want to call On it. On the Saturn. Saturn. Here's all their systems. Nice, Every time man. I come here, I look for a PC engine, and they never have one. There's a $20 Nintendo Super Famicom. Somebody in our comments recently asked, hey, how much are Super Famicoms? There's your answer. I mean, they can be as cheap as that. They can be as expensive as like 60 bucks. It just depends on where you're at. Or you can get it at the Hachioji hard off like me for 50 yen. Ooh, I got mine for free. I bought a beer for my friend and he just gave it to me. All right, you win. I do win. <laughs> I guess I didn't like that PS1. There's a box PS1. Not good. Not good. <laughs> Zach says, we don't need that. We already have... PS2s and other PS1s. Yeah, or PS3s. Those can play PS1 games yeah. as well. You really we have so many other things that can play those games. But Kyle still talks about how he wants it every single time. <laughs> That's my face thinking about how Kyle wants PS1s real bad. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of Xbox games. Very cool. That's also PlayStation 2 games. There's so many. They have a huge PlayStation 2 section. It's almost overwhelming when you come across a PS2 section this big. Yeah, because there's just... Yeah, and... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this is a Princess Maker. We're going to make some princesses. We didn't buy that, did we? No, because you can get it for way cheaper if you uh, look harder. I w definitely want it. One thing that's weird about this store is they have a lot of good prices for a lot of stuff, but their PlayStation games and Saturn games specifically are like all a thousand yen. That... These are games I've never even seen anywhere else. I don't even know what this is. Oni. Ah, oh, Space Invaders. Metal Slug. Metal Slug. I've been wanting to play more Metal Slug games, but they're also quite pricey. Yeah, and you can just get the Metal Slug collection and play all of them. That is so it. true. I bought that Ghost in the, in the Shell eventually. That game's real good. You play as the, what's that thing called? I don't remember. I don't know, man. The red, like, spider-looking thing she rides yeah. around in. We're really good at knowing names and things. <laughs> uh, but... It's a, it's a really, really sweet action game. Do you mind if you just look a little quick? Let's play action video. Sure, games. man. It'd be fun. I'd be down. It's just fun. I mean, it got a US release, but that game is real cool. Oh, here, guys. It's that Squaresoft fighting game where you can play as Cloud and stuff. It's also got kind of an RPG dungeon explorer mode that's really, really cool. Well, that's just nifty. Isn't that great? We didn't buy it, though. No. It was too expensive. A thousand yen? Nope. Get that for way less somewhere else. Oh, oh! what is this? Oh, yeah. It's Load Runner. You did not buy this? Apparently. No, I yeah. didn't. I've come across it before for around that same price. I'm holding out. I feel like I can find it for less. I'm in a bit of a Load Runner, obs not obsession, infatuation, infatuation these days. You got a Load Runner fetish going on. Yeah, definitely a <laughs> fetish. <laughs> but yeah, again, this oh, Legend of Mana, this place, again, it has a great selection. That's 500 yen. Yeah, man. Good deal. I feel like that's another one that you can find dirt cheap somewhere. Yeah, especially like in the junk section. Yep. But I like that rabbit Still looking cool. thing on the back. That was fancy. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. Here's uh, PC Engine games. There's some Sega CD games. That's pretty crazy. That's a something. Yeah, you rarely see more than like one or two Sega CD games in one place. That's true. Ditto for 3DO. Heavy Nova. That looks real cool. Looks like it's kind of a, oh, what's that game called? A uh, Odd World? Assault Machine something other. Yeah, Odd World. To me, it looked like Odd World with robots. That sounds really great. Yeah. I don't know if it's like the oh, Rising Sun. I think we just go through all these PC Engine games, because in other countries, you don't come across these all that often. But here, there's, there's usually a little section just about everywhere you go. Yeah, and a lot of them are ones that never got US releases, so we're really not familiar with them. Um, this looks like a shooty. I do like shooties. <laughs> <laughs> Eldis. I'm gonna uh, the get a manhole. PC Why is this called the manhole? The man <laughs> a fantasy exploration for children of all ages. The manhole. manhole. Look at those leaves. Um. I don't yeah. Know. It's made by Sunsoft. That's something. there were no screenshots. Great. It's a manhole. Good. Yes. 
Grid. Grid. Uh, oh, yeah. There's a lot of dating sims and stuff on PC Engine too. So, oh, Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, yeah, that was Yu Yu Racing game of some kind. Yep. Oh, the kanjis. kanjis. Zach, can you read them? No. <laughs> it was a Final Fury or Real Battle, whatever that's called. Ah, oh, Alter Beast. It's all Neat. like <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> It's real cool. You gotta put your hand over your mouth or it doesn't yeah. sound right. Oh god. <laughs> Sweet. Ah, oh, Dreamcast. So Dreamcast, I just got a Dreamcast not too long ago. 100 yet. Nice. I just got a Dreamcast not too long ago, and I'm realizing that Dreamcast in Japan is just like a gigantic uh, overflowing pool of dating sims. <laughs> They're just everywhere. I guess you got to get into dating sims, man. I mean, they, it's a cool genre. I'm interested. Uh, I think I bought this. Evolution. Maybe not. I didn't think I bought this. Um, it's an action RPG kind Nifty. of thing. Yeah. For a second, I thought it was a roguelike, and then it wasn't. I put that oh, in the basket. You got it. And then I put it back later. Sorry. You <laughs> didn't get it. That face is lying. I did not buy that game. <laughs> All right. Super Famicom carts. This is Kyle's thing. I love these guys. He does love these guys. I looked through all of them. I found a couple things that were interesting. But first... First... Look at all those peripherals. Yeah. And now back to the <laughs> Super Famicom good, games. Good taking footage, man. That good was classy. Job. Final Fantasy VI. Mm -hmm. Whatever that is. The little bug-looking thingies. Always got to check out the inbox games. Of course. This racing game I've always kind of tempted to buy, but... Feta. You see that around a lot. It's um, a delicious cheese to put in your Greek salad. That's... Feta with a cheese? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say tea, but I said cheese. Feta with a cheese? Cheese? Final Fantasy V. You can find Final Fantasy V and VI in the junk sections for a dollar. In the old day. Boxed. Yeah. yeah. Someday. Or you can just get the like PlayStation release. I still haven't played Final Fantasy VI, but a lot of people really love it. It is very, good very good. It's pretty quality. Dragon Quest. Been playing Dragon Quest XI lately. It's a whole lot of fun. Sailor Moon and Super Bomberman. I, that's a pretty good price for that game. Really? I, I think. If that's the right... I don't know much about Bomberman, but one of them is is a pretty good game that is fairly highly desired. Hmm. Dragon Quest VI. Ah, oh, RPG School. These games, are, there's a lot of games in Japan that have Game Boy cartridge slots on them. I'm not sure why. I think they're like memory expansion packs and things. Oh, and gosh. sometimes the Satellaview... Mm. There's a connection that goes in that slot. I really, really wanted to get this, but a, a thousand yen was too much. It looks cool. You're just like exploring the ocean and collecting things, and it looks like it would be a good game for like a hard hole. It's kind of like Aquanauts Holiday, but probably with more of a purpose. <laughs> yeah, Aquanauts Holiday, you're just like, oh, the ocean. <laughs> and that's the whole game, which is sweet. I mean, but nope, didn't get it. We'll keep an eye out for it elsewhere. Yes. Final Fight, Fight 2. 2! Final Fight 2! For 980 yen. You didn't this is one I high, high, high heavily <laughs> considered. <laughs> you didn't buy that though, right? No, I don't think so. We're we're learning to be... Oh yeah, this thing... Um, mm. It's a cart of multiple games. Yeah, it's got Super Mario World. Goemon. Goemon. Kira. Ki, something, I don't know. Are those... It has the Nintendo logo on it, but is this actually a licensed card? <laughs> yeah, it card? seems real ghetto. Unlike. And you can just load up with ROMs? I hope so. I'm more interested in the cart than whatever games are already yeah, on. Yeah, you can get some Mario World anywhere, God. Oh, here's a Police Knots. I think it's an expansion cart, like, so that the game looks pretty. For or the so Saturn? Can, yeah, or you can play that game. I don't know. There's a lot of those, though. Made in Japan. Good. Konami, back when they were still not making just slot machines and stuff. Was Police Knots Hideo Kojima? It was, yes. Nice. Basically kind of like a Snatcher style thing. I do actually have that, by the way. On Saturn. Snatchers? Uh, no, Police Knots. Oh. We should play through those Kojima games. I mean, they're not rare at all, but they're, I just want to play them. They're incredibly text-heavy, but we could play them. We can figure it out. With uh, you, you can figure it I out. I can figure it out, and you can sit there. Yeah. Sounds great. Good times. Uh, 
Look at that steering wheel for Lots of them. I like that gold one. Neat. We remotes. Very cool. Super Famicom controller for 980 yen. Those cords are so short. I just bought some extensions for all of oh, my retro consoles nice. so I can lounge in peace and play games. I just have a Super Famicom or a Super Nintendo controller that's the right length. That works too. Yeah. The uh, Super Famicom Classics, you can find them all over the place these days. I feel like they're not as rare as the US versions. They're still really expensive though. Wanders one collar. For 4,000 yen in box, that's not terrible. It's not, yeah. I mean, it's, and it's actually crystal. Is it? Yeah, it says crystal there. What? But it shouldn't it say what? There, no. But it says Wondersong qu color and then crystal on the. Wait screen. a minute. Should I have bought this? If that's a crystal for four thousand yen, that doesn't make any that's sense. It's a solid deal. Because the thing about it is, it's a Wondersong color. Oh, hey, there's a Game Boy SP, not the fancy one. We think. Um, if I'm gonna pay four thousand yen for a Wondersong color, I'm just gonna drop the the. 10, Whatever it yen. takes for a crystal. Yeah. Yep. I like that thing with the spinny wheel back there. Mm-hmm. And 64 controllers are expensive because those joysticks get borked so fast. Yeah. <laughs> Here's some Wii Motion Plus controllers for 12 bucks. That you, was really tempting. Yeah, you considered that one for a They're while. They're always like 2,000 yen in Tokyo. But you didn't buy it. They're, the hardware at the store is especially cheap, I feel like. And I listened on a recent podcast, The Retro Hour, a very good podcast, highly recommend. They were saying if you have any interest in collecting things for the and hope that they will gain value. They say hardware is your best bet. Really? Yeah, because hardware you can't emulate. You would have to like reproduce. Mm. So good condition hardware will always have value. Yeah, this thing was really weird. I'm pretty sure it's like a wheelchair for a GameCube, <laughs> which is really <laughs> sweet. I. Why would anybody need that? Um, if you live in a Japanese tiny, yeah, that's true. house tiny and, you apartment. and you sit on the floor and you didn't need to be able to pull your GameCube sure. out from the TV. Well, now that you put it that way, why didn't we buy it? Because uh, it was too much luggage. Oh. Mm. More uh, stuff in cases. Yep. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Oh, the store was neat, man. Yeah, it's it's a great store. I mean, like, it's one of my main haunts for, for the next two weeks or so. Not anymore. But... So loose Game Boy and Game Boy Advance cards. Very cool. What do we got here? I see some Metroid Zero Mission. That's cool. There's some uh, Torneco, the Game Boy Advance release of Torneco 3. Dude, those are both real neat. Yeah, but that Torneco on Game Boy Advance is really expensive. Like 4,000 yen no matter where you go. Marvel vs. Capcom. Very cool. Ah, uh, there's some... A PSP shooty. It's Super Star Soldier collection. Or Star Soldier collection. Neat. Pretty great. Star Soldier is a pretty incredible series. Master of Monsters. Oh, by the way, I found my missing Star Soldier or oh, GPA card. Where was it? It was just in the Game Boy games. And oh since God. it was shorter than the others. I didn't see it. Well, I'm glad you found it, Kyle. Found it. My dog didn't eat it. Thank goodness. Very important update. <laughs> important update, folks. Kyle's dog did not eat a video game. <laughs> <laughs> so we skipped all that stuff that we were just looking at in the case to talk about your dog eating it, games. But It was worth it. Yep. Gradius 3 and 4, you see that a lot. Um, pretty good for two yeah, quality man. shoot -em ups I, I'll probably end up buying that at some point. Yeah, odd Makai Murray. Dude, that's so expensive. 80 yeah, bucks? It, the, for some reason, all the handheld Portable Makai Monos are really expensive, including like this Wonder Swan one. We found that in Nakano Broadway and it was outrageous. <laughs> but Red uh, Arimer or Gargo Gargoyles Quest. Gargoyles Cribbles? Gargiggles Gibbles. <laughs> it's right, so still cheap, like six bucks. We watched this video for a long time trying to guess what game it was. Um, and guess with us, folks. What is it? What is it? There's a monster in the sky. If the hint is it's a Super Famicom game. And that's the end of the world. Oh, no. Uh, we figured out when we saw the demon, this is uh, Contra, Alien Wars. Which is a really fun game. Yeah. Contra's sweet. It's spelled like that in kanji. It's sweet, the Contra. And it's pronounced the same way, right? Yeah, there's an article I saw about how Contra's name was decided, and it's really, really interesting. Oh. 
Yeah, sorry, I wasn't actually reacting to anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> There's some cool games there, though. This hey, is... Gargoyles Quest. Nice! Inbox, 3,000 yen. That's, yeah, decent. What system is that on? Famicom, isn't it? Looks real cool. You look real cool. Hey. Hey. Guy. Yeah, Final, Final Fight, Fight Guy. Guy. Very cool. Good game. This is the really, 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 really big full case of lots and lots of games, by the way. I see a Twin B. Twin B. Battle Master. Do you know anything about that? I do not, but that looks pretty cool. Is it Little Master? It's Little Master. Oh, no, not cool anymore. <laughs> Here we got Hybrid Heaven. That's a really sweet uh, N64 kind of RPG action game. See, uh, that's Shiden a good, good two price for 007. Yeah, they got Sin and Punishment there. Somewhere Ooh. in there is uh, the Star Soldier N64 shoot 'em up, which is terrible. <laughs> Some Rockman 6 carts. Very cool. They got Goonies. They got Gradius with that totally sweet uh, art on the package. Mother for 25 bucks. Very cool. Some solid stuff. Yeah, no, they got a real good stuff in this case. A real good stuff. They got a real good stuff. A real good stuff. There's some Ninja Turtle stuff. Turtles in time. For $40. You can apparently find that for 500 yen if you get real lucky. According to people on Twitter. Twaddler. Oh, Prince of Persia. Choma Chimera. I bought my copy of Choma Chimera from this store. I got my copy in box for like about that same yen. price. That's so crazy. What a deal. Boxed Super Famicom games. Yeah, this case is crazy. Mother 2. So much great stuff. Looks like like 35 bucks. Yeah, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. It's almost too much stuff. It's almost too much stuff. You guys got too much stuff. You got too much stuff. That's double what you paid. Yeah, man. And the box isn't in any better condition than mine. Yep. I see some Mega Drives down there, and I think I see a 3DO. Darius Twin. It's a pretty good shoot 'em up. That's solid. Yeah. That's solid. I'd pay 2,500 yen for that. I'd give that one a solid. What do we have here? Axley. It's another shoot 'em up. Uses Mode 7. Pretty cool snatcher. Ooh. Speaking of Kojima san. Kojima san. Our senpai. And a 3DO. Yeah. For 70 bucks. That's not, Seems not terrible. Yeah, that's a decent price. I mean, I don't know what you would play on 3DO, but you could get it. You can just look at it. You can look at it. Put it on a shelf and look at it. <laughs> it's a Mega Drive. I do. That's not a bad price for a Mega Drive either. Yeah, man. Should I buy a Mega Drive or just buy the Mini and not buy a bunch of games that I don't need? I feel like buying the Mini is the best choice, honestly. Sailor Moon. No, that's not Sailor Moon. That's Earthworm Jim. Earthworm Look at Jim that for price. three hundred fifty million Good dollars. Lord. That price is ridiculous. <laughs> Earthworm Jim is a really sweet game, though. Oh, more soundtracks. Chowaniki. Konami Game Music Now, nineteen ninety nine. Now that's what I call Konami. Oh music hey, now. Game Center CX. Game Center CX. I was about to make a joke, Kyle. Ah. Now, oh. that, now that's what I call Konami Music 1999. Nice. It worth it. Worth it. Oh, is that Strong Bad? <laughs> For <laughs> Look at the Strong Bad music. <laughs> strong Bad music. From Homestar Runner. Uh, more Chowaniki. Ooh. Summer Carnival 98. There's some soundtracks in there. PlayStation 2 games all of a sudden, for some reason. Super Darius 2. $90 for a game soundtrack. Yeah, man. Game soundtracks are something else. Yeah. Uh, Choto Q HG 2. You love Choto Q. I do, actually. Them little chibi card. They When you when you bump in something, they jiggle like jello. It's adorable. Here at Amada. I was tempted by this, too, but I was on a budget. You are on a budget. And I knew we had a lot of places to go. It's true. I've been wanting to play this game. It's a good price. But I didn't buy it. Again, it's on my PS4. I could just lend it to you if you want. You gonna lend me your whole PS4? If you want me to. No. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Kingdom Hearts. Pray. Pray. John Carpenter likes this game. Whoa, really? Yeah. 
All He's right. Sweet. Talked about it. Bloodborne. Look Board. at these cheap games, man. Bloodborne. Yeah, this is the cheap um, modern games. This is the cheap modern games basket. There's a lot of good stuff in here. Like Bloodborne. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. Walking Dead. Ooh. N64. N64. Loose cards for the N64. N64. GameCube. GameCube. Resident Evil. This version of this game is terrifying. My friend, our friend Paul, you might might have seen him in passing in some of our Korea videos. What's up, Paul? He said that this game is the best entry point to Resident Evil. If you're not a scary boy, which I'm a scary boy, I get uh, real scared real easy. Game Boy Advance. Game, game Boy Advance. Game, game Boy Advance. Cards for the old Game Boy Cards. Game, game Boy Advance. Yep. I uh, see a bonk there. Nice. Look at him. What Where? a goofball. He's so cool. He's called. It's great because he was on PC Engine first and they called him PC Genjin. And Genjin means caveman. I think that's cool. I've decided that I'm going to be the internet's foremost bonk defender. Bonkdefender. Yeah. I'm going to defend bonk because everybody takes a dump on him. And I think he does true. a great job. He's not. It's not like amazing, but it's not anywhere near it. Like everybody's just used to like Mario and Sonic and all those other really People great have high standards. That's for dummies. Yeah, man. Just enjoy stuff. Look have at a this. Good time. Rockman. Speaking of high standards, you already have this. Didn't that's you? really cheap for a Rockman game. Yeah. They got some cords, cords back there. Quads. Just quads. I think I didn't have three. I had five. But so I picked this one up. Now I have three. Now you have three. Good job. Now I just need four. And I got all the Game Boy ones. Here's uh, Kyle and Zach explore Famicom that they don't understand very much yet. But they're excited but it's fun. because we can play it. It's an exciting new world. Yeah. I have an AVS, the dog bone controller model of Famicom. For good times. For good times. <laughs> now I'm checking out all these great oldies. And I'm going to get that weird Pokemon Famiclone clone thing to play Famicom games on until it probably breaks. <laughs> Ooh, Star Force. Force. It's a pretty good shoot 'em up. Shoot 'em ups. Schmidt. Timeless, fun, replayable, challenging. Kyle what else do you need? Kyle understands them now. He didn't until recently. I'm yeah. Proud of him. Zach converted me. Ooh, and nice? on the Famicom, they're cheap. Mm -hmm. Unlike a lot of other systems where <laughs> shooties are very desirable and them pricey. Price, them, them pricey shootos. Them pricey shootos. Yeah, no, they're really expensive on like PlayStation 2 and stuff, but Galaxian? I mean, it's basically Galaga, but... Here we got some cheapy shoots. Cheapy shoots. Uh, Twin B. They have a lot. Yeah, we it was just like an endless, like, oh, hey, you were like, hey, pull out some games. And I was like, all right, and I just kept fighting shoot 'em ups It was sweet. Here I am trying to find another one, and I'll succeed, I think. Maybe I won't. So shoot 'em ups for the Famicom, they're oh. pretty fun to collect. Scoon, this is another spook. You're like a submarine. Yep. Neat. By Fun. IRIM, so you know it's quality. Definitely. So Famicom shoot 'em ups. Play them. Or don't. Oh? Oh? Yep, there's another one. Exerion. I'm assuming it's a shoot 'em up. Actually, I don't actually, I didn't know this game, but it's Jalico. They made a Tetris Plus for PlayStation, if I remember right. And that's cool. Oh, more shmups. Terra Cresta. This is another fun one. This is one that I bought, I believe. Have you played it yet? No, I have not. Oh, well. I haven't played most of the games from this trip yet, sadly. Oh, Kyle got Star Force and Terra Cresta. What a deal. A thousand yen? It's good stuff. Show. Oh, that's the Makaimura. Nice. Game's so hard. <laughs> but it feels a little similar to a shoot 'em up to me in that like yeah, you just kind of yeah. have to memorize it and play it again and again and you keep getting further each time you play it's true so melty blood i actually had this version of this game of it like an actual copy in the u.s i imported it um it's a fighting game with characters from the skihime uh like love simulation uh pc game it's fun oh simple series it's the mini skirt police lady Thing. This game was controversial because they were wearing bikinis and slicing people up, and people don't like that for some reason. We talk about the simple series in every video pretty much, but it's a series of budget titles made for various consoles. 
Yep. Usually targeting like a 1,500 yen or 2,000 yen price range. Yep, and uh, we're probably going to do some videos on them pr pretty soon. What's this, like a city builder? Yeah, you get to make your own city, so it's SimCity, basically. That's a generic military shoot 'em up This is uh, Earth Defense Force. You already got mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. There's some uh, boy fun adventures. <laughs> the Taxi 2. Be it's like taxi Crazy or? Taxi? It's probably not like Crazy Taxi. It's probably just Normal Taxi. But it, normal taxi. Normal taxi. Looks fun though. Yeah, man. Party games. This is uh, we fit basically. Ah, ro let's make some robots. That says. For if it was a bit cheaper, I would be tempted. I definitely want to make sure. some robots with you, Kyle. Yeah. Robots and princesses. Dude, we can just make things. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This was weird. This is a release of the normal Famicom Taro Juraga for GameCube, like. What? <laughs> it's literally just Tower of Draga. Tower of Draga is really fascinating. It's like so hard. They have all these basically broken things you have to learn. But yeah, like, back in the day in the arcade, they had these clipboards on the arcade and you could read through people who played before you and see how they got to certain areas. Yeah. Here's what we picked up at Booktown yeah. in Tsushima. Zach, did you you got just one thing? I just got that Ghost in the Shell game, uh, riding that spider robot dealy that we don't know the name of because we're dumb. Uh, it's pretty fun. It's a good action game. I, I had it in the U.S. It's like you can strafe and shoot stuff. It's real fun. And the rest is me, mm. Rockman World Three for the Game Boy, the Adults DS face training for the DS. Only for adults. Only for adults. Star Force and Terra Cresta. Terra Cresta. Terra Cresta, is Jeez. that right? Yeah, with a K. Jeez, Kyle. Terra Cresta. The K and Kyle is a K and Cresta. I will now remember forever. Good. Lots of cool stuff. Yeah, pretty good trip. Um, a bit of a novelty item and four actually good games. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed watching us kind of poke around in beautiful book town in Tsushima. And if you did like it, then why not subscribe and stick around for more cool stuff like this? Leave a comment, like it, tell your friends, tell your dogs and cats, mm -hmm. your family members, and strangers on the street. They'll love you. And as Zach said, yes, please say hello in the comments because we're lonely and sad and we need friends. Extremely lonely. So thanks as always, and we'll see you next time. See ya, friends. Until then, keep on doing things. Keep on having a time.